Okay, so the Jeep, you might have remembered we replaced the uh, slave and master cylinder on this with the pre blend kit. Well, after an accident, it kind of got unbled. So we had to bleed it again. The thing is, with the clutch master cylinder set up on like this Jeep, there's no way of bleeding. So in this video, we're going to show you how we bleed it and get the air out of the slave cylinder so the clutch works again, which is awesome. Yeah, it was kind of a little broken. A little bit. The clutch was really soft. I'm much complaining about it, how it wasn't smoothing. No, it, what, it wasn't really, what was it doing? It wasn't even clutching. You couldn't yeah. even push the clutch in and shift gears. Right. So I had, to, I had to actually synchronize shift to get it back on. Not a good thing. So y'all stay tuned. And we're going to get into this, and we're going to get fixed. And we did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and everything. And that's good. So to get this in, First, I spray it with a little PD heat blaster to lube up the tube. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> this is why you don't touch capacitors. Why? <laughs> he just sees the broom. Ha! Okay, so I took this bolt off and I have this bolt loosened for our master cylinder on our transmit on our clutch. And I'm gonna take a lift it up and see if I get air out of this thing. No. Can you go and, and push the clutch a little bit, Brian? Alright. Just a little bit. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Push it more? Yeah, push it more. Okay, let go. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so we're not getting air out of that, so I'm probably going to have to take it fully loose because we have air in the pipe, and we're going to have to take the bottom out to uh, get the uh, to work the air out of the system because there is no bleeder valve. Okay, so to take off the slave cylinder, we're going to back off these few bolts right here. There's one here and there's one at the top. I can't record the one at the top. Okay, and when you take off your, your slave cylinder, it's going to look like this. It's going to have this dangly little bar here. And this is the bar you're going to push while somebody's up top with a rag to bleed out the air. You want to make sure this is vertical. So when you're taking out the master cylinder, you have to pull that little pin. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to pull it again because it's hard. But perspective, there's the clutch. It's at the top of the clutch. He's going to work the plunger in and out. And I'm going to see if we can get the... We need more fluid. So we've already been moving it around. I, I've shaken it upside down with the lid on to try to get air out of the system. Let me get more fluid. Now this just takes uh, brake fluid or hydraulic fluid. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to dump this on your head, Brad. Okay. Should be good. Okay, I want you to uh, go ahead and move the plunger. Push it in? Yeah, push it in. Slowly. Okay. Keep on going? Yeah, just keep on going. I'm seeing air bubbles come out. Okay, now let it go. His air bubbles are going to rise to the top. Okay, push it in. Slowly. 
A little bit more? Little, up. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Let go. Now let me uh, put the lid back on here. And turn this, and turn around. See if I can get it. Without breaking the line. Oh, that'll be fun. Like, it's like... Oh, let me look inside. Ow. I need to use a rack for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's less uh, fluid in the system now, so go ahead and push it down. Got it? Yeah, all right. All the way? Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, going? that's good. Let me go. Um, push another side a little bit. What are you doing? I can't hold it. Okay, let go. Okay. Okay, uh, I think we got the air out of the system though. It's all the bubbles come out. Okay. That's a lot harder to press this on. Okay. Go ahead and install it. We'll see how it does. But install it back in. Yes. All right. And we'll install this back up here. If you're looking for installation, we have an install video that has uh, more clarity than this video offers. Is there something that's supposed to go in? What? The thing. What thing? The uh. Thing. Uh, that looks. To install this, is just these are half inch down here, up here. Where are they down there, Brian? Uh, half inch. Half inch, but then when you're sticking this back on, you want to make sure the plunger is engaging with the clutch fork or your clutch will not work. Then after you get everything in place, you'll have these two bolts back in. Make sure that your the rod is on your clutch fork. And this is on the driver's side of the Jeep on the transmission, close to the engine where the clutch is. If you don't want to go through this, of course see the other uh, video where I have the whole cut clutch assembly. And it's already... Um, Bled off and ready to go. You should install. Okay, Brian. And guys, this video happened over before the accident and then after the accident. So yeah. it's a lot of video. Sorry. But the clutch, this works. All you have to do is take off the uh, slave cylinder, hang it down, let it dangle. And then come up to the master cylinder and kind of remove that so you can maneuver around to get the air out. It does help if you have somebody else there so they can push the slave cylinder. What does that look like? Push. So they can push the slave cylinder and get all the air out. I can do it. <laughs> Just push it a little bit. But, uh, no, the clutch works. Great. Okay. And okay. so the clutch works great, and we can drive the Jeep again. Uh, after.
after this video, we actually had Mike's Automotive change the clutch because the clutch was heavily worn and the throwout bearing was making a hellacious noise. So thank you, Mike, for fixing that for us. He did a great job. I hope you see this. Hey, Mike. Yeah, because we, you know, I don't have the tools to drop a transmission or pull an engine. Didn't want to rent them, didn't want to do it. So he did that. But the clutch works, and this is a simple way you can bleed your clutch so you have clutchage, which is awesome. Clutchage. That's a new word. That is a new word. Just made that up. I coined that phrase, but that word. If you're also looking for great eats good recipes, Check out our blog. Oh, this girl makes some awesome food. Oh yes, it is good. It is easy to make and it is healthy. She actually had a fan come by the other day and say, A neighbor. A neighbor, yeah. Oh, you're probably watching. Oh, I wanna say, hi Jan. Uh, it's an appetizer like you like. Jalapeno. So, y'all go check out the recipes. I also try to write stuff. Not good at it, but I try. This dyslexia kills me. And if you like this video, hit the like button down there. It looks like this. If you like our channel, subscribe. And uh, y'all please take care, because I'm sweating to death out here. No fan. It's June. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Chandler. It's stupid. <laughs> Your body language is stupid. <laughs> no, my body language is stupid. I see. <laughs> this is.